Okay. I'm Matt. I'm Guy. And I'm Dave. We're, We're the, the Beastly, Beastly Boys. Boys. We write a series of books called An Awfully Beastly Business about an orphaned werewolf called Ulf who lives at the RSPCB, the Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Beasts. Mm. It's, a, it's a rescue centre for beasts. There's all kinds of beasts there. Dragons, griffins, trolls, fairies. And one day a dead dragon arrives and all has to uncover a deep, dark secret and battle against an evil beast hunter. All watch the radar screen. A green line swept around it like the speeding hand of a clock. The radar bleeped twice as two green dots came into view. It's the dragons, Ulf said to Dr. Fielder Fielding. They're coming. Ulf and Dr. Fielding were in the observatory, the lookout room high above the rooftop of Faraway Hall. Dr. Fielding was standing by a huge map on the wall. She had been tracking the flight of the dragons from their nesting ground on the other side of the world. They've flown all the way from the great volcanoes, she said. She pointed to a red line drawn on the map, showing the dragon's migration route. They're fire-belly dragons, an adult female and her baby. They're about ten miles south and coming this way. Dr. Fielding carefully moved two red pins on the map, marking the dragon's location. Ulf had never seen a dragon before. He looked out of the observatory window. It was night. Above the clouds, the moon was nearly full. It cast a silvery light over the beast park, and down on the great grazing ground, he could see lumbering shadows. The beasts were becoming agitated. They could sense the dragons too. We're all uh, childhood friends who met at school, um, and in fact, the books are based on uh, many of our childhood experiences. Um, for example, I grew up in a house in the country, uh, similar to Faraway Hall, the headquarters of the RSPCB. Um, and I grew up in a converted funeral parlour, and uh, there's a ghostly element to our book, which I have, which I'm very keen on. And I grew up on a small farm that was surrounded by animals. When I was young, I wanted to be an RSPCA officer. Didn't do that but together we come up with the RSPCB. We write together because that way we, we get more ideas. We sit down on the sofa together with a laptop between us. Yeah, constant bickering and arguments as you'd expect. But it all comes right in the end. 